for Hennepin Tech student Alec Owens. We had to literally put everything on pause for probably well, a month or so. The global pandemic is just another hurdle in his education to becoming a machinist. Because when you stop, you start to lose a lot of that momentum and it's hard to get back into the groove of things. Last month, Governor Tim Walz signed an executive order allowing college students like Owens to return to campus for necessary in-person exams and classes. If you think about it, machinists run the world. Without a machinist, you have nothing. Machine tool instructor Craig Beringer says it only makes sense for his students to complete the class in person. Companies don't want them to come in having a virtual uh, understanding of machining, they got to know what to do with a machine. Beringer says not being able to finish classes before fall would affect other classes. These are just to get the students ready to go to second year site. Otherwise, the second year instructor would have no students. In order for students to come back, colleges need to have a safety plan in place. For Beringer's class, only nine students at a time are allowed, and machines are sprayed with disinfectants. Small tools are also sterilized. We use an autoclave for cleaning all the metal parts. And then at 1130, the new group comes in till three. All right. Despite the extra cleaning steps, Owen says it's a relief to be back, especially if it means getting closer to the finish line. It feels refreshing to just basically get back and, you know, keep going with everything. In Brooklyn Park, Pafuyang, CCX News. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.